going on everybody it's portal back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna be going over the top 10 mutt 22 base elites in the game guys so they started 87 and then go all the way up right this is gonna be the top 10 best players in mutt day one base elite wise this doesn't include superstar mvp this does not include any specific players like devonta smith for the rookie uh, champion it is going to be the top 10 base elites so these are going to be the best base cards from the regular season right so these, these are like last year we had mccaffrey you know we have Devontae adams but we'll see who it is this year i'll briefly go over the stats guys and show you them now the 88s are really no specific order or the 87s because of course they're all the same overall but you're gonna see them all so before we get into today's video hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up as always guys we are going to be implementing the noti gang again so if you're part of the poodle squad comment down below poodle squad let me know i will shout out one person per video as well as probably heart that like uh heart the comments so that's probably how you know it's coming so yeah make sure to do that of course subscribe and smash the like button can we get 30 likes in this video guys every like we get in this video helps our next video and our channel so if you guys watch always smash the like button it takes a second do it real quick all right should have got it done already we're good to go let's start zach martin 87 overall guard for the dallas cowboys always one of the top base leads every year 87 strength 87 awareness 86 pass blocking 80 uh 84 pass block power three pass block finesse and of course guys all across the board high 80 run blocking gonna be one of the best left guards in the game usually you can get him powered up early and it'll be a staple in your line only issue is i feel like larry allen always comes out after i do that next we got ryan ramchick for the saints that's going to be our right tackle right there high 80 high to mid to high 80 pass and run blocking across the board gonna be one of the best right tackles in the game the only time you get a more of a better left tackle i'm sorry right tackle is going to be typically when elaine johnson comes out that's super athletic but of course he has not been getting those cards like he used to or even crazy as athletic as it used to be but another guy to lock down your line again if they do come out with a legend it'll be like an 88 89 is the difference that big at this point in the game probably not you could probably get some strategy cards on him get him ready 90 threshold it's gonna be a great day one tackle moving on we got deandre hopkins now hopkins with an 84 speed isn't horrible i mean i personally won't be using him at that speed because there's guys like Jamar Chase with a 91, Tyreek with an 89, Devonta Smith powered up with an 89, Lance Allworth with an 88. It's just a no-brainer. But Hopkins has gotten lower speeds in the past, so I'll take an 85 powered up Hopkins. Um, last year, I did get a Nat DeAndre Hopkins from a level up pack, so or a solo challenge pack, I guess gold plus pack for Nat. Hopefully, that does not happen again, because I was forced to use him a little bit, but I really didn't like him. But coin-wise, I had to use it. Low, uh, Mid-low 80 route running mid high 80 catching good jumping gonna be a very well-rounded receiver a better version of michael thomas typically michael thomas gets better route running thomas hopkins gets better speed next we have tyreek hill probably gonna be one of the best day one receivers as per usual although jamar chase is gonna take his throne this year but i'll give tyreek but tyreek gets the deep route running pretty easily which is big right because remember last year 90 plus deep route running unlocked a whole nother plethora of deep route running animations so that's what allowed Tyreek Hill to kill in the deep post, break away from people. That's what makes him different from all of his defenders day one. Powered him chem to pull up 90 speed with 90 deep route running. Good enough medium and short running with good enough catching, right? To get the job done. Because typically Tyreek Hill, you're not throwing to traffic. I mean, that's, that's, people complain about the catch and traffic. You're not throwing at him with three guys on him. Typically, you're going to let it rip deep. You're going to let it, you know, a quick slant. You're not going to be going in all in on a, on a over the middle in route, right? Like you're not doing that. You're not getting him killed more than likely but again he still can hold on to some stuff moving on guys we have jalen ramsey so there you go that's our eight, first 88 so these were the one two three four five well hold up hold up one two three four five the fifth one's ramsey so ramsey's gonna be an 88 overall looking pretty solid the car out looks pretty cool as well you know the picture they used for him 85 speed again a little bit lower compared to some other cornerbacks but higher for ramsey because ramsey started the year with like 83s and 84s before so 85 means he will get an 86 speed off the rip with power up and his zone and men are 88 and 86 with an 89 press and 86 play right guys if you get the right strategy card on him you may be able to boost him all the way up to above a 90 man zone press and play rec within the first week which will make him one of the most locked down corners in the game with an 86 speed again this is jamar chase and stuff so maybe you don't want you don't want jalen on jamar again this year could be different maybe you know maybe jalen could lock him up enough or, or you know press him off the line enough to where that speed won't hurt him but again maybe you don't want him on there maybe you want like Dion or one of the other corners on a jamar chase or tyree kill although ramsey could probably hold his own with tyree kill with only a three speed difference but still jalen ramsey definitely a beast as per usual always expect the ramsey card to be pretty good especially the first week of the game 
Next, we got Patrick Mahomes. These are going to be the Twitter reveals, of course, because the Twitter reveals are going to look a little bit different. So, Twitter, the Patrick Mahomes is considered, I believe, the fifth or fourth best player. It was him and Henry. Now, Mahomes, 71 speed, of course. You guys saw his other 88 card already, so it's going to be the same stats. 88 throw power, 88 short, 84 mid, 86 deep, 87 throw under pressure, 89 throw on the run, 87 play action. No, not many people will probably actually be using this base elite card because everyone's going to have their 88 nat, which does us pretty, pretty much confirm that Patrick Mahomes' 88 nat will work interchangeably in the elite power up just like it did last year with Lamar Jackson because they're just about the same overall. Well, they are the same overall, right? Just like last year. So, this Mahomes is going to be really good, of course. going to be one of the best quarterbacks in the game. The throw power combined with the accuracy with the strategy card, plus the fact you get him for free. Mahomes is probably going to be one of the most seen quarterbacks on head-to-head, -head, probably the first at least week. Now, the only way I see this changing is if, like, last year, they drop a superstar MVP Lamar or something like a quarterback like that that changes your mind early on. Because that would be the only thing that really changes it, right? If they drop a superstar MVP or a legend QB like a Steve Young early, um, a Lamar Jackson early, I can't really see anyone else taking the spot. Mahomes... Steve Young, maybe a Josh Allen superstar MVP with better throw power and 80-something speed. Other than that, Mahomes is looking really solid for the first, probably the first dominant quarterback in Madden. Next, we have Derrick Henry. He's, he's a tank, right? Derrick Henry's going to be a tank. Now, here's the big thing, right? He got 86 speed, which is impressive because powered up means he gets an 87 speed. Now, what I'm wondering is, I wonder how big of a deal weight will actually be on this next generation engine like it was on next gen in Madden 21. If it weights a big deal, guys, that break tackle and truck with strategy cards going above 90, you could easily make De Derrick Henry maybe untackleable for the first week or so, right? Now, again, there's faster running back. Saquon may be better, but here's the thing. Although they're similar, Saquon's up there in weight, but not as much as Henry is. But if it comes down to break tackle and truck, Henry takes the cake, right? So if side-to-side -side swerving stuff isn't as big as it was last year, and that makes gives Henry an advantage, actually, and Saquon less of an advantage, Derrick Henry could be one of the best backs. But we have to see. He has less speed, of course. Not by a lot, but enough. But if that if the weight makes a big difference, it really could alter this year and how you look at it. Because I always hated that, right? That always sucked when, like, back in the older Madden, they used to use everyone. Now that we understand the meta, it's like, okay, would you rather Derek Henry at an 86 speed or Saquon at an 89, right? It's like, no-brainer. But if the weight difference and strength difference makes this big of a gap, that speed gap may not be as big or it may be equal, right? If the way you play, if all you want is a guy that can get you that short, like, you're third and one, fourth and inches, you want a guy that can always get it for you, Maybe Derrick Henry, maybe not Saquon, right? So that, that's something to think about that could really change the way the game is played a lot, in my opinion. Next, guys, we have Travis Kelsey, who comes in at number, I believe, number three. Travis Kelsey, 81 speed, 72 strength, 87 catching, 84 catch in traffic, 86 spec catch, 88 short, and 85 medium. So with strategy cards, he could potentially get the 90 medium and short running off the bat with a power up, which will make him one of the best route running tight ends. But just like I said, this is why I stress Kyle Pitts being such a good rookie premier pick. It's simply because Kyle Pitts has an 88 speed. At max, Kelsey gets 82. It's a no-brainer. Like, Kyle Pitts is going to be game-changing on the tight end board for a, quite a bit of time because, again, usually we don't see 90-plus speed tight ends for at least a, two months, maybe, minimum. So Kyle Pitts could easily be one of the most usable rookie premieres right there with Jamar Chase, but there's a higher likelihood of a faster wide receiver over Jamar Chase like a Tyreek Team of the Week than there would be of a faster tight end, right? Because the only way you get a Team of the Week tight end would be Waller, or, or um, Engram, which may not happen week one. And even then, our first big promo, right? Again, still possible, but definitely great. And then, of course, we have Aaron Donald coming in at number two, which leaves us with the number one player after this. Aaron Donald has 75 speed, like per usual, which is why I said Jack Youngblood wasn't so bad with an 82 speed. 83 excel, 89 strength, going to be one of the strongest guys in the game. 86 play rec, 88 block shit, 88 power move, 85 finesse move. So similar to Jalen Ramsey, they're never the fastest, but they always have all the stuff that their position should do, their top tier. Like, he can, get, he just like Ramsey, can get all threshold. With the right strategy card, he can have above 90 block shed, power move, play rec, and 90 strength. He's going to be a beast as per usual. Aaron Donald's typically a card you power up day one, and you set and forget for a while because he can just stop the run so well, which is important early in the year, as well as rush the pass, right? Not the fastest, but he gets the job done. Or you can always move him into an inside, right? Like a defensive tackle, and then, again, you, have the, you get the power move block shed and you still get the more of a speed of an end versus 60 speed d tackle but let's head on over to the number one guy and see that one for the number one overall player in madden 22 ultimate team is Devonte adams had a crazy season last year touchdowns yards everything about it aaron Rodgers coming back definitely going to keep him probably on pace for something i wouldn't say as similar because those were just two outlier seasons but they're still gonna be crazy good right Devonte adams is number one spot that's the first for him in his career i believe in madden 84 speed on the lower side, Adams, 
and Hopkins have the same speed, but what he's going to beat him out at is probably just about everything else. Um, the jumping 86, 88 catching, 86 catching traffic, 86 spec, 88 short, 88 medium, and 82 deep right running. You really just can't argue him as a receiver. Now, the speed's a different story. 85 speed's going to be lower. But again, if you get him Nat, like I said with Hopkins, although he's a better route runner. So if you get him any strategy cards, he can get above 90 medium and short. You could easily toss him in like the slot or toss him somewhere. You can get just some easy good routes out of him or leave him on the outside, put someone fast in the slot, whatever. Either way, Devontae Adams is going to be able to run some crispy routes as well as some great cash. So he could be a short medium guy. Doesn't need to be super fast for that. Um, great in the red zone, probably releasing off people. Again, favorite player from this entire list is going to probably be Tyreek Hill by far. But there's a few good guys here. It's going to be the top 10 base leads for Madden 22. Obviously, there's going to be rookie champions. There's going to be legends, superstar MVPs, and so on and so forth that will take over these guys. But these are going to be the base, right? The top base guys are going to get upgrades early on. They're going to be top guys throughout the year, more than likely pending injury. But that's about it. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And of course, smash the like button. Can we get 30 likes in this video? It always helps when we get a lot of likes. Make sure to like the video. And of course, if you, need, you want to DM me, have any personal questions regarding Madden, hit me up on Twitter. The link will be down below in the description. Drop a follow down there. Thank you for watching. Make sure to sub. I'm out. Peace.